I, I had, what's the word for it? Sarcosis. Yeah, bit, yeah, 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 yeah. Sarcosis. So, man, I tripped hard, like, on coke and sleeping tablets, like, to the point of you'd probably want to kill yourself at some of the things that you were seeing. Yeah. Because, mate, I, I've, I've got a funny story what happened. Um, how can you make this funny, Kirk? Fuck. Well, no, what happened <laughs> with psychosis, how, oh, how real it was. So I remember I had a friend of mine. We I think we started getting on it on the Friday night. Sunday morning comes. We're still getting on it. Um, he then goes. I think he gets a cab. And as he's jumping in the cab, he said, right, and gives me a couple of sleeping tablets to call it now, mate. I've got no thing left anyway. So I took the sleeping tablets. He said, I'm, take them in front of me, mate, because I know that you'll go on a mad one. So this is Sunday morning when he left. Match of the day was just coming on, and we've been on it since Friday. So I've took these two t uh, sleeping tablets. As I'm tidying up, match of the day's on, I'm tidying up all the tray. I found an eighth. Fuck! Right? How can you find an eighth? Well, we, I bought two eighths. I thought we, we d d d you must have bought more. I don't know how there was not one there. I was like, fuck. Completely forgot that I just took the sleeping tablet. So I started cracking on, on oh that eighth, God. right? In my house, do you ever remember in, my, in the games room... Where the Elvis, there was an Elvis statue. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also, yeah. I had the fortune telling machine with Elvis in it. I can't right? remember. I was fucked when I was around yours, but yeah. So I'm cleaning up, yeah? <laughs> now the paranoia's come in. This is how real it was. So by the way, just, just a heads up. If I was on drugs, I wouldn't even text my dad. Because I'd be like, no, he'll know. He'll know by my grandma that I'm out me nut. So I would not even text my dad when I was on coke. I used to live next door to my dad. And uh, these statues started talking to me, right? Yeah. Saying they were going to kill me. Right, bad. Well, really? So you, you really thought that? I didn't think that the statue had come alive. I thought when I went and let my friend out, people got, because one of them was like a seven foot tall and the other fortune telling machine was, was probably about the same size. I thought two people got inside them <laughs> and was waiting for me to go to sleep, right? So, but they would never talk when I'd look at them, right? <laughs> so I'd look away and they're like, we'll get you. I'm like, like, right, fuck. So now I've got my phone out. I put my phone on my sofa and I'd walk away. And I'd now watched the video back. So I'm now recording this. I have now opened up the fucking Zorg machine. And whoever did buy this, we sold it last year. It has a hand all burnt because I held a lighter. Do you know the... the oh, the my film? fucking you God. You know the film, Big? Yeah. Right? Yeah, the, the yeah, Zorg yeah, yeah. machine. I had an Elvis version of that. So he had two <laughs> hands. So I'll put a lighter under his hand. And say, You're <laughs> fucking, real. You'll move now. <laughs> you'll move now, right? So now I've took the Elvis glasses off him. I've put it in. I put the uh, the Elvis sunglasses on myself. I was like, these are gonna kill me. To the point now, I'm getting so scared. I'm just saying, listen, just do it now. Fucking do it, because the anxiety is killing me My more God. than what you are gonna do. Just go at me. Still having a little bump. I'm narrowing my pants. It's now three o'clock in the afternoon. I've been arguing oh with these two statues all day. I've gone and knocked on my dad's door in a pair of pants and Elvis sunglasses. I beat. Start, <laughs> oh, started hell. on the front, and I wouldn't even text my dad. This is how scared I was. I wouldn't even text my dad if I'm out and up, right? So I knocked on his door. Got these Elvis glasses, pair of pants, sweating, being on it Friday night. It's now Sunday afternoon. Dad, listen, I'm on drugs, right? <laughs> but but this ain't why. Please come in my fucking games room and have a look at these things, right? <laughs> He's like, what's up? I said, Dad, they're going to fucking kill me coming now. He's walked in, right? One of the Elvis statues, the one with the guitars on the floor. <laughs> yeah. I said, Dad, watch my phone. Watch my phone, I promise you. Because even when I watched my phone back, I could hear them on the phone, right? And uh, he looked at him and said, Kirk, you're going to get locked up. Oh, my right? God. He said, delete this now. My dad would never father me in a sense of cuddle me or stuff. He literally walked me into my living room. He laid me down on the sofa and just stroked my hair and said, listen, just calm down, mate. Calm down. I said, Dad, I'm not an idiot. I said, I know these haven't come to live. There's two fuckers inside them and they're going to fucking kill me. He said, Kirk, you've, what have you done? I said, I've just done coke, Dad. Oh, fuck, Dad. You know what? I said, I took sleeping tablets as well. I forgot because literally as I see oh, my mate my. out. Yeah, yeah. And then, but then. <laughs> fucking hell, once man. Once my dad must have got me asleep. Then his funny side had come in, right? So I must have slept until Sunday night, Monday morning. As I've woke up on my sofa, there's a fucking seven foot Elvis statue in front of me. The fucker's gone and picked it up from the game, <laughs> put it in front of the sofa. I remember opening my eyes going, ah! <laughs> Menace of sobriety. Just a minute, just, just a minute.